Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to go over how I have recently updated my storage and organization of my Erin Condren stickers. Now, I have been ordering stickers from Erin Condren for a very long time, since they started their um, original sticker book. I think I, yeah, I have all of them and maybe multiples of them. <laughs> So this past Sunday, I sat down for what was probably three to four hours and I just decided they were just kind of all over the place and I really needed to get my organization system down so that I could better use these stickers because I kept buying them but I wasn't using them. So some of this system was already in place and then the other part of the system I just kind of started this past weekend when I reorganized some things. So let's go ahead and get started with the first half of the system. So. These are in albums from Amazon. I do have them linked in my Amazon shop, but just, just to give you a heads up, at the time that I'm filming this video, these albums are out of stock. What you'll wanna make sure though is that you order the ones that say they are six by eight. There have been a few times where I have linked things from Amazon and you go to click on the item and the size changes. So just make sure that you are ordering the books that are six by eight. The five by seven will not work for the pages that I'm about to show you. So. You can go ahead and change the cover. I simply just took a sticker book, cut it in half, and put it in here as the cover for this book. So in here I do have kits and some of the monthly sticker books from the past because the previous monthly sticker books were a larger book like this. Now they currently come in a much smaller, more compact version like so. So everything that's in this book are for books that are these sizes right here. So I just have in this one all of my weekly sticker kits, or just sticker kits, I'm not really sure that they're necessarily weekly sticker kits from Erin Condren in here. Um, and I, like I said, I, I have way too many. <laughs> um, but they fit perfectly in these pages. And I should probably organize them a little bit better by color or whatever, by season, I don't know. But um, I just kind of stick them in here as I buy them or as I come across them. And some I'll just keep even after using parts of them because I want to use other parts. I just don't want to toss it out. Like the Go Wild sticker could obviously be used for a future go wild event so oh and i have an empty page right here i must have used that sticker sheet but yeah it just keeps going and then what i ended up doing if i could ever get to that part of the book is it kind of does have a halfway point in the book so at the halfway point i filled in with the monthly edition sticker book a lot of it has already been used because i was using this in my monthly notes pages, but I just prefer everything to be here. And this kind of takes the place of several, several books worth of stickers, and I'll show you more in the next book. So the albums do come from Amazon in a two pack. So when you get them, I would probably suggest getting two of them <laughs> because they seem to sell out over and over again. I actually used the original, the very first monthly edition sticker book cover in here because I loved the Party Pops pattern. I just, I couldn't resist. I, there's actually another cover behind it, which is why it has the kaleidoscope on this side. But this book holds a variety of books. So just the regular edition sticker books from Erin Condren, not the monthly edition sticker books. And I did my best to try to sort them by type of sticker. Um, the system is definitely not perfect, but it's kind of working for me right now. So I kind of started with the transparent stickers in the front or the ones that have the transparent background and things like that, and then moved on to some more um, functional type stickers in here that are this size. Um, and then I tried to put the ones with the strips, the washi strips or the long sticker strips together because it kind of helps if they're kind of close by one another. I love this view, by the way, this is just, oh, anyway. <laughs> and so I just took apart the books and then put back the pages in a way that made sense to me at the time while organizing them. Again, this was pretty tedious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, I already see some things that kind of need to get switched around, but I absolutely love this because I want to say that there are 
approximately five sticker books already in here. So instead of having to figure out which book things are in, it's already all in this one sticker book. And there's still quite a bit of empty sheets in here that could easily fit another sticker book or two. Um, it easily fits multiple pages per sleeve, so that's not an issue. And the, it's pretty well made, so I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I have two different <laughs> sticker book covers on here, but this has definitely worked for me, and I, I'm absolutely loving it. I first heard about these albums from Jen Ross, and she heard about it through someone in a Facebook group, and you know, per usual, we all just share ideas and kind of run with it. So I'm really glad that she shared this, and um, I'm able to use it in my sticker storage system. All right, so moving on to these books right here. These are the On The Go Folio sticker storage albums from Erin Condren. Unfortunately, these are also currently out of stock. However, they do come back quite often, so just keep an eye on the Erin Condren website. So I kind of got this idea, and I haven't seen Jen McIntosh's setup quite yet, but she had shared that she was ordering multiples of these sticker books because she was gonna implement these implement these in her sticker storage system as well. Oh my God, that was a mouthful. Okay, I'm sure that there's many, many different ways to store your stickers in here or to divide them up in a way that makes sense to you. So I divided mine up in a way that makes sense to me. And no, I did not order all of these albums at once. I think I ordered two when they initially came out and then I ordered like one more random one in an order. And then during launch time, I ordered two more books because I was like, okay, the time is coming. I really need to order these sticker books. And I think they're nine dollars a piece but i believe that they fall under the accessories so if you order four or more it's like 15 percent off i would just kind of as they come in stock add one to your order here and there if you can all right so let's start off with the first one and i did label mine on the side because i'm a little extra and on the front i'm um, just to make it easier if i have these all on my desk i'll know which book to grab and the label maker that i prefer is the brother p touch and this is the what is this the d210 model pt d210 i love this one i've had it for several years i use the black on clear tape and it just works perfect these books kind of have like an outer plastic, I don't know. They're pretty durable, that's for sure. They do fit in the on-the-go folio um, covers from Erin Condren. I just don't keep mine in there. It's just a personal preference. I don't like mine in there. Okay, so moving on, I have quotes and events in here, and like this is just a sticker from one of these seasonal surprise boxes, and I decided to keep this one for like all things like celebrations and birthdays and holidays and things like that. And then in the back of some of the petite planners, they have these stickers. So this comes in the fitness petite planner, the travel book, um, the budget book, the meal planning book, um, I think this is from the Gratitude Journal. These were just some extra Oh Joy stickers that I had. Um, some of these are from like a seasonal surprise box and things like that. These just don't have a very, um, and I think some of these are from a seasonal surprise box as well. Um, and so I just kind of kept these all together along with some Christmas ones in the back. And there's actually still several sheets left in here. I want to say that these come with 24 sheets there's like 12 in the front and 12 in the back there's also kind of a middle section in this book as well let's see oh yeah it's right here let me make sure that there's actually 24. One. i missed one page going over yep so there's 12 in the first half and you have like this sort of middle seam right here and then 12 in the second half. So you have 24 and you can fit multiple pages. Um, this plastic page protection stuff that they have in here is not quite as thick as what's in this photo album, but I haven't had any issues with any of it, like ripping or tearing as I'm taking sticker pages out. So that's what's in the first book. Second book is kind of jam packed. I just kind of called this my functional book because I think it's just truly, the more functional of all the stickers that I have organized in here. It's just a lot of very basic shapes. Some of the um, stuff from, some of the stickers are from the back of the Erin Condren Life Planner. And I really should move this over to that one now that I think about it. 
This can stay back here, of course. And then just a couple of the, these are from seasonal surprise boxes as well. So I'm probably gonna move them over. Now that I'm flipping through, I'm like, oh, I need to move a couple sheets over. <laughs> Um, but that's just what I have in this book. And this is probably one that I would probably carry around with me most often if I wanted to, um, just because these are more basic functional stickers using your planner. Next up, I have the school books. I kind of took apart the these two sticker books right here and put them in here. And I think this was last year's sticker book and then this year's current sticker book that just launched. And I just kind of liked keeping these together because I feel like I would use these more around school time, although these could easily be put in the functional sticker book as well. But some of them have apples and I just decided to keep them all together in here. I also love using the ones that have like meeting and the two in the middle um, in my regular planning as well because I attend quite a few meetings, but I loved these. I just took the books apart and put them back together in an order that made most sense with the like stickers together. So that is that one. Next up, I took the new layers and flower power sticker books and I put them in one book. Here, I just kind of liked the way that this worked. When these are new, you kind of have to work the, the binding there so that it will lay flat a little bit better. But I just kind of, I kept the books together. I didn't separate them. I did reorder the books because I felt like the order that they come in wasn't very um, cohesive. I don't know if that's even the right word, but I just felt like they belonged better together this way. Like these boxes together, they weren't together in the book. These pages were not together in the book. And I just, I just wanted them in a different way. <laughs> but, um, so there's a couple extra sheets there and then starts the flower power book, which you guys have probably already seen a million times, but I love this. I'm probably going to use these a lot in my daily duo planner. And for my final sticker book, I decided to put together the sticker subscription kits or you know bundles that kind of come from Erin Condren. Again, this is another new book, so I kind of have to keep bending it back so it'll lay flat. But um, I just decided to keep all the stickers that come from the subscription together and they're kind of seasonal. At least they started going to seasonal. They started just not seasonal, as you can see in the beginning and then they switch to more like kits, which I love. Um, and again, I could see these being great for a couple of pages in the Daily Duo or even an entire week because they give you so many. Um, but here are just a few from the last um, sticker subscription from Erin Condren, which is quarterly, and you can just check out on their website when and how to sign up. So I liked this system, and hopefully I can actually go back in the coming year and use these because I completely forgot about these because, again, I didn't have my stickers organized. And as you can see, I didn't use the Valentine's Day or the St. Patrick's Day one. Um, and here we are. This is the kit for May, and I'm probably going to try and use that before the month is up. All right, so that is everything um, for my Erin Condren sticker organization. I do still need one more of these, mainly because I want to make one for the new monthly sticker book that comes in the smaller size. I always order two of each sticker book, not necessarily at the same time, but um, just so that I can have a backup because they do things like this where they only include like one... <laughs> strip of the washi and if you're doing a layout in your weekly you kind of want it for both sides however now that i'm looking at this this is perfect for a fourth of july page in the daily duo so it is very functional for both planners but um, i ran out of space to put them in these books and i think i want to devote one to just the monthly sticker books in this new size i do still have a lot of the older sticker books but a lot of them are missing a lot of pages or you know are pretty fairly used up um, but I don't think I'm going to put these into albums. They're just going to kind of stay stored in my office and I'll just pull them out as needed. All right. So that is everything for my updated Erin Condren sticker storage system. It's definitely not a perfect system, but for now it's definitely got me to a more organized place so that I will use my stickers more, hopefully. 
I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions about any of the items that I mentioned, please feel free to ask down below in the comments. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video.